Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to How to Play FTB Revelation. How is it going? Hope you're all doing well. Last episode, we learned how to fly. We can fly now, which is such a lovely thing to be able to do. Um, it just helps out. It just everything is faster. Everything is faster when you can fly in modern Minecraft. It is such a huge life upgrade. So what we're going to be doing today is learning how to get some more resources because so far we've had to go mining we've had to go mining and it's it's modded and you just don't do that it's just not the done thing in modded once you get past a certain stage which i think we're at we are at so we're going to go over how to how to get some more resources how to auto mine basically and there are a few different options and uh, one of them which i've just been looking at now one of them is the builder uh, from RF tools. So like the name implies it can also build things it can move Things as well. It is a very versatile block and another thing it can do is it can quarry and um, So you can see it's it's fairly cheap to make just one ender pearl and some lapis and gold and iron And then what you do is you put a shape card in there and you want you'd want that one You can see shape card quarry. You can also do silk touch or fortune which are a lot more expensive The normal one is fairly cheap just some diamonds uh, paper and brick I mean that's that's it is very cheap it is very cheap now the only the only bad thing about this is that it will basically it will it will tear up the landscape Okay, so it will literally mine the blocks that are in the world, which, you know, if you if you want to do it anywhere near your base, you might not want to do that, of course. Now, there is a workaround in some mod packs and in FTB Revelation, we have it. There is what's called, and there it is, Aromas Dimensional World. And basically, if you make a portal, just like a nether portal using these bricks, which you can make from stone and a mining multi-tool, which is very cheap, uh, and then light it on fire with the mining multi-tool. So you make it exactly the same shape as that. Uh, and you have to sneak to go through. It will take you to a mining world. And that world will solely be used for mining. So you can rip it apart as much as you want. And you don't have to worry about it. It is not in this world, your, your, you know, your playing world. So you could do that there. That is an option for you to do. Uh, what we're going to be looking at it is a... Mod called Environmental Tech. Oh, no, 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 not. There we go. Environmental Tech. And you can see it has several things going for it. Now, the biggest things that it can do is it can provide power using the solar arrays or it can mine using all of these. So there's a void ore miner and then a void botanic miner. Now, we won't worry about the botanic miner. If you click on it, you can sort of see it needs a chorus flower. Um, and if you go to uses, you can see these are the types of things that it can mine. So as the name implies, botanic suggests, obviously, things of a natural nature. Now, we're going to go for the void ore mine controller. Now, you can see this different tiers. Um, we will we'll be just using the very basic tier one, okay? So you can see that takes some some of this stuff, block of diamond, diode, which is pretty simple, laser, uh, which is, no, <laughs> we need the white laser lens. Where are you? Ah, uh, you're somewhere. It's, it's, it's not that hard. <laughs> oh, maybe it's there. There you go. The clear laser lens. It's just glass. So that's not too bad. Um, this is a, a fairly easy thing. Now, the only stumbling block is we shall need some litherite. Okay, and you can see if you look here, the only way to get it is either to craft it using this recipe here, or you can get it from the void ore miners themselves. Um, from here, you can see different. The higher up you go, the higher percentage you get. Okay, so that's the that's a sort of trade off. But these take a lot more power, and they take different materials so the higher tiers basically you can see this is sort of the the um the tiered systems here you can see it's it's nicely color coded so you can see here litherite is the tier one then erodium then chironite uh, i can't even uh, palladium and so forth but the higher tiers you can only get you can only get from the void or miners so this is this is the rub. So you basically have to pretty much start with the void or minor controller tier one. Okay. So what we are going to focus on making now 
We're going to get this done and the assembler, okay? So you can see that's just two obsidian and a litherite crystal, and then the void ore miner takes litherite blocks, which is nine each, there you go, a block of diamond, and these interconnects, which are used making black concrete, okay? So I'm going to get all of this made up, and then we're going to go over quickly how to do all of that. So I have the Void Ore Miner Controller Tier 1. That is a mouthful to say, um, but it is there. So what we've done, I've put it up three blocks. I've also got the assembler. And these are the materials that you need to complete this multi-block structure. You need a clear laser lens, which is not too bad. A laser core, which is, again, not too bad. And then the structure panels, uh, there are two different types of structure panel. There's the normal one made with iron bars, and then there's a clear one with glass. So it's up to you, but you need 20 of them. And then this is the hardest part, that you need 24 structure frame tier 1s, okay? Uh, and the recipe for that is you need iron and lapis, which is not too bad, but then you need litherite, two per structure frame and interconnects which is again a little bit of a you know a little of a bit of a pain to make but uh, once you've got that what you want to do go up three like that place the void or miner on top and then you want to get your assembler and then just click it and there you go until all the blocks go oh <laughs> and last thing we want to do is actually we want to <laughs> oh Hector, there we go Make sure that there's nothing there. You can see I've still got the laser core and the laser lens. Uh, click those as well, and that should be done. There we go. Now, it used to sort of say um, back in all the versions of the mod that the structure was complete, but this should be complete uh, once this has some RF. So there you go. Now, the other thing that we need to do, and I should have probably done this before I did this, but uh, let's just get under here. Now this, like I said, this don't, doesn't actually take um, anything, any resources from the actual land, okay? It simulates it, and it basically just, um, like, spawns them in, okay, essentially? So what this needs to work, uh, if we can get to the middle... Is this the middle? Yes, excellent. So this is the middle. You can see the laser core here. What this needs is it needs a complete line of sight right down to bedrock okay so that's what i'm going to do now it's going to be a bit dull i'll <laughs> i'll get back once once it's done and there you go once it's done you can see there is now this laser that stretches all the way down okay so that's how you know it is working you can see the bedrock and uh, the laser is here so let's go back up i was lucky then i didn't hit uh, a lava lake or anything like that there we go. Let's get out of here again. Bam. So now we have to give it some RF. Of course, this takes power um, to work it, for it to work. So we could, for instance, we could just pipe some, um, you know, some RF over from that. But what we're going to be using instead, just to make things a little bit easier for us, is this mod called Flux Networks. Okay. And what we're going to make is a flux plug and a flux point you can see it sends energy and receives energy so we need we need four eight of these things and one flux block and that is made like so so you need obsidian for four of those so we need okay eight bits and this flux and you can see obtained by throwing redstone in fire or lava and it's it's really simple really simple to make uh, like it just said if we get some redstone I've got a bit of that here, a bit of that. We can light the floor on fire and then just throw that in and you can see it it just changes into flux, okay? So we're going to make that and then obviously the flux block is that as well. So nice and simple. Let's make that and then I'll show you how it works. Right then, I've got the flux plug and flux point. So first of all, we're going to hook this up to our energy cell. If you remember, this is where we're storing our excess energy right now and it is it's about half full uh, which is quite nice the first thing we need to do oh no is why why can i not <laughs> well that's just weird okay well shall we do it there then why are you not letting me okay well that's <laughs> that's just really weird that it wouldn't let me do that one okay fine uh, it is done so remember that blue is input and orange is output we want it to be outputting on this side and we're going to connect 
the flux plug which sends energy so like that and you can see uh, it connects to it like that very nice and then what we need to do is just click on it and you will get this please select a network now we don't have one and um, these are other people on my server right now we want to create a new network and there you go so by default it will just label it whatever your player name is and you know whatever it'll just call it your network so uh, access you can make it private if you want uh, which we will do we don't want anyone else using it mainly because it will interfere with our machines it's just sometimes if you're on a server it's just probably simpler to make it private and uh, not to be you know mean but it, you just won't um, have you will have less problems so we create that like that activates network there we go please select a network and we will choose our own so there you go so it will now it will now be able now don't worry too much about this you can name it something else and you can set the priority to whatever don't worry about that for right now that's a little bit advanced but uh, just to send some energy we can just do that so now we take our flux point like that and we just stick that on there like that same thing again select the network bam like that and that will now send energy over here so it's wireless rf um transferring okay so rather than just piping everything over that will do that now the last thing we need to do really is we need to hook up a chest to here and that's where it will start outputting items there you go ores like that okay now this takes quite a bit of power so we're going to probably have to upgrade our power supply which we will be doing uh, next episode. We'll go over some uh, different power supplies because right now we're still we're still running off this furnace generator, which is pretty good. And you can see that's already that's just transferred everything immediately to that. Uh, I'm doing all right there. We've got we've got any more wood? Let's uh, yes we do. Let's get some out there like that. Let's put you in there to generate a little bit more charcoal uh, for now. So this will just burn through all of that energy. You can see it's taken up quite an amount of energy so we definitely need to do something but there you go we've got an erodium crystal <laughs> weirdly we've got two mana infused ore and some tin ore so like other things you can chunk load this to make sure that even when you're offline this will still work it still will produce all all the ore it can and like i say it doesn't rip it from um the world itself it just generates it which is quite nice and it's a fairly simple thing to do it does cost quite a bit of um quite a bit of uh, resources just to get going uh, but once it is once you've got it all it's uh, it's really rather nice i just want to where's my dirt there we go i just want to cover that up because it looks ugly we don't want that there like that there we go that is better so we we've got that going so that will very slowly and you can see it's taking energy right now already just to try and produce a little bit more um of the resources so i lied i i totally lied just then and you probably already knew it from the uh <laughs> from the uh the screenshot the thumbnail of the thing we're gonna make a solar panel a solar array i should call it so it's the same sort of setup you need a solar array controller so like the um the void or minor controller uh which is it's not too bad again more litherite and now this is the most important thing you need to you, you see it can take any cell but really you want the litherite solar cell because that is the cheapest one to make because you can mix and match uh, which is an oddity with environmental tech it makes it a little bit muddier and there's no there's no in-game handbook anymore uh, as there used to be in previous versions but yeah make the same uh, type of solar cells and then you need to make some solar cells as well so the easiest one the uh the cheapest that you can get is that just nine making nine more litherite and photovoltaic cells again that isn't too bad the litherite is again the most annoying as well as the interconnects uh, and then you again need some structure frames just 16 this time and you need four null modifiers now you can put different modifiers but to begin with you'll probably just need null modifiers which is again not too bad and it interconnects again and it, this works in the same way so we're going to just actually place it there like that and then actually let's come below because this goes on top there we go bam and that should be done there you go you can see it makes it 
just like that, okay? And now this is the weird thing because you could, instead of using litherite solar cells, you could use the higher tier ones and they produce, you know, a higher tier solar cell will, of course, produce more power. So it's a bit of a mix and match that you can do. And if you look online, you'll be able to find some numbers and figures. But this is the simplest version, basically. And if you if we look on here now, uh, you can see, there you go, generating 549, that will be RF per tick. Okay, you can see that's, that's what it's taken. And it's just about, you can see now, it is just about keeping up. So I think the void or minor actually takes about, I think it's just a little bit more. It's maybe about 600. So it just about can keep up. And now you'll, you'll be able to see this is generating a little bit faster uh, and or every so often. So this is a nice, easy way to start doing that. Like I say, you could use the builder in the um, the mining world, which is another good way. You could hook up one of these uh, structure um, solar arrays there and hook it up to the builder. That's just one version. That's just a way of doing it. But right now, that is generating. That is generating ores, and we don't have to do anything. That's what I like about solar panels. Um, you, it is passive. It is passive. Once you set it, you can just literally forget about it. You don't have to do anything else. Obviously, you need to make sure that it is sun shining. It needs being solar power, it needs direct access to the sunlight. So that is one way of doing it. And then once you've got that, you don't have to worry about getting resources. Now, it won't be, you know, it's not the quickest thing, and it just generates them at random as well, of course. Um, there are some other ways of uh, using industrial for going laser lenses that you can direct or at least specify. And you can a little bit in this as well. Uh, if we look at the laser lenses, you can see we use a clear laser lens. There, aren't, there are different versions. So if we look at, say, the, the red one, can we, can we, can we? There we go. If we look at the uses, uh, what you'll see is if you use a clear lens, you get we've got a 5.36% chance of getting a redstone ore. Whereas if we use a red one, we've got a 9.8% chance. So the laser lens is situated uh, just right there so you can just you can you can just harvest that color it and then pop it back and it will work again so you can go through these and figure out what maybe if anything you want to change i'm going to leave it on clear for now because it's fine that is fine for me that will be working nicely but there you go that is a way to get some uh, resources Easily obtainable resource generation. Uh, ooh, that's that's exciting. Look at that. Tal dot draconic evolution colon draconium underscore or dot name. Well, that sounds like a lovely thing to be using. I don't know why that is that. And we're getting some glowstone as well. How lovely. How lovely. Um, so, of course, this is not silt touch. So you will still have to, you know, you'll still have to do a bit of work getting all of that ore and like putting it perhaps in a pulverizer and redstone furnace to process that ore. Or you can leave it in there for now. Wait till you've got a, a good amount going and, and see what happens. But there you go. Hopefully, hopefully. That has helped you out a little bit. Um, that's one way of getting some resources. I talked a bit about others as well, so hopefully that should get you going um, with some generation of resources and a little bit with power as well. We might do some more on a different method as well next time. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, a like or comment is very much appreciated. Feel free to ask questions or other tips that you might uh, have known as well. Put them in the comments. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Hector. This has been How to Play FDB Revelation. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.